guys. So, if you could tell by the intro, my second channel is now a Cuban channel. Now, I changed my second channel to a Cuban channel a while ago. I just never made a Cuban video. So, the first video, I'm just going to show you my collection. So, the first one here, I don't really know what um, brand this is, but this is a Gear Cube Ultimate. Just with the normal Gear Cube stickers. I believe it's called Anastrophic Cube. I believe that's also what it's known as. It's not Caution Cube, but yeah. Here we got YJ Mirror Blocks. This one has stickers. Some of the st two stickers came out, and three of the caps came off. Here we have a um, Calvin's Puzzle Square One. So you can see some of the caps came off from this one too. I'm not gonna really go into any detail. I'm just gonna show you them. Here we have. I don't really know what company makes this, but it's pretty much like a um, 50 millimeter one by one by two, just with squished um, eh, um pieces. It's known as the boob cube. I don't really know why. Here we got a Rubik's cube lamp. This is pretty big, but it's 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 so. Um, annoying to turn, and like when I solve it, my hands get tired. Also, sometimes I pinch myself. Here we got a Feng Shui Shishong, except this one's 55 millimeters. I used to have a 50 millimeter one, but I don't anymore. Here we got V Cube 7. Um, some stickers came off here too. It's not that bad. Here we have a Shang Shao Mega Minx. Not really that good at Mega Minx. I'm in the middle of trying to solve it, so that's why. Here we got a Rubik's brand snack cube. Pretty cool. Here we got it's a one by one or three, but it's also a light. See, it's kind of bright. If I can turn the light on, see, it's, it's not that bright, but it's still kind of bright. So here, this is a um, timer. The pro version. Now, this timer was originally made for speed stacking, which is cup stacking. But eventually, people started using it for Rubik's Cubes as well. Here, it's pretty much a Sudoku Cube. Just the Sudokus are solved, and you have to put them next to each other. It's a V Cube, and it's a uh, pretty hard. It's the hardest cube in my collection. Yeah, so once again, I'm sorry I'm going pretty fast. So you see not all of my cubes are solved. So this is a wheat eaten mix-up cube. It's pretty hard. The reason why it's like this is because you turn you can turn the center 45 degrees and then you can turn the other one 90 so it creates this weird shape. Oh, sorry. So this cube and this cube too, they're they're both mirror boxes, just silver and gold. Not sure what um company makes them but they're like really buttery and they're really cool here's another mirror box this is by Yuxin or Yushin and this one has colors as well this is a floppy mirror box you see one of the caps are missing because as you turn it the pieces can come off really easily here's another floppy cube this is a super floppy cube this is made by Z cube pieces don't come out on this one and this one shape shifts now where's the other one Wait, where's the floppy mirror box? Oh, so the floppy mirror box, it does shape shift because it's a floppy mirror box. But, yeah, I'm not talking about like this shape shifting, but it still does shape shift because it's a floppy mirror box. Here we got a vintage puzzle from the 80s. I believe it's from 1983. It's pretty much a one by one by three, but, but you have one missing piece, so... You can like move it in and, and one piece and it can be more of a challenge. It's called the Whip It Puzzle. It's pretty cool. Here's another one similar to that except it has changed and it's one by one by four. And the inner pieces don't move. This one's called the Missing Link. Here we got a 2.0 Rubik's Revenge um, with tiles. It's, it's really annoying to turn. Here we got just a normal one by one. I made out of Legos. Not really any much to say about that. Here we got a Shink Shao 8 Bite. It's not really that good. I do have a piece missing. 
But uh, what can I tell you? Yeah, I'm I'm going fast because I don't want to run out of storage. So this is a um, Mefford Cube Extreme. It's a pretty cool puzzle. It's also pretty hard. Here we got Calvin's Puzzle X Cube. It's pretty no, the same Calvin's Puzzle. This is just an an original X Cube. It's like a three by three by five. Also, some of the cats came off on this one too. Here we have a um, snake cube. Not really anything to say for that. Here's a star. Nothing really to say for that either. Here we have a Mefford's gear ball. It's kind of like the gear cube, just into the shape of a ball. And um, there are these inner pieces. I used to know how to solve it, but like I lost it one day and I just forgot how to solve it. Here we got a Rubik's Void. This one's really annoying to turn because it locks up and like you can pinch yourself on this one as well. Here we got a Rubik's Snake. It's not really that good too. I actually got this with the Whippet. It used to be my uncle's. But yeah, like the, I'm guessing since it's a Rubik's brand, the pieces don't really stay. Here we got VQ5. Again, annoying to turn. Well, it turns well, it just locks up. Here we have some unknown 3x3. There are also caps that came off on this one as well. Feels like a shank shell, like a aurora or a wind. But I know it's not neither either of them because the mechanism's different. Here we have a Mofang Ivy Cube. This cube's pretty easy. It's a um, corner turning cube. It's pretty cool. Now I have one cube missing, and that is a cube with pictures of me on it. I don't know where this is. This one also has pictures of me, except it also has my um, cat on it. My cat, Ruby. Here we have a Land Land Rex cube. This is also a coordinate turning cube, and I have no idea how to solve this. Here we have, it's a windmill version of, of a four by, of a Mayu Aosu. Again, I just don't know how to solve it. Here we have a Mefford's Ghost Cube. It's pretty cool. I believe these cubes are kind of rare. I don't know. I got this at the mall. I got this at a mall on Black Friday. Here we have just a normal Calvin 3x3x5. This one can shape just as well. But the reason I'm not gonna, ever going to scramble with Shape Shift is because I have three others that ended up popping because of this, because uh, I Shape Shifted it. And like it pops easy when it's Shape Shifted. Here we got a Mofang Slim Tower. I don't really know how to solve this, surprisingly. But what can I tell you? This is a cube. I don't really know what it's called. I'm not really going to do anything because I have because I'm using one hand. Here we have a wit two. If you're if you if you want to play the two by two at night, if you want to speed solve a two by two at night, don't ever use this cube because this cube is pretty loud. Here we have a Mefford's gear shift. On videos I saw about the gear shift, it's really good, but mine is terrible. Here we have a transparent. I'm pretty sure this is a YJ Yuko. Not quite sure. My dad got this when he went to a trip in Colorado. He also got this Mofang 5x5, but it popped. And he also got me this cube. This is a Moyu Magnetic Cube. It's pretty cool. Here we have a um, 42mm Dianzanchi. I do have a 57mm Dianzanchi in white, but it's disassembled because one of my pieces is missing. Here we have a Pillow B Cube 3. As you can see, the stickers aren't really that good. It's peeling off. Yeah, once again, sorry, I'm going too fast. Here we got a Rook's B Cube. This is pretty cool, except mine sucks. Once again. Here's another Rook's B Cube. This one, but this one came disassembled. This one I also got this, that store at the mall. But yeah, this one came disassembled, so I decided to put the caps on as the original Chinese sticker scheme. I think it was Chinese. Here we have a YJ Axis Cube, also known as an Axle Cube. Also, there's this other name it's called. I forget what it's called. 
Here we got Buzzle Ball. Nothing really to say, and I don't know who makes this. Here's a Mefferts Pure Minx. This one's also pretty good. And here we have a Mayolimpo 2x2. Two two. This one's also pretty good. Alright, now we're on the just 3x3s. Three this is a Cyclone Boy 3x3. Three three. This used to be my main, but it's not really that good anymore because I brought it to my cousin's pool and now it's just crap. Now I do have a Mui Diama, which used to be my main, but my brother is playing with it right now. Here we got a Vintage Rubik's Cube. It's not the first one because it doesn't have the original sticker scheme, but the orange stickers are horribly placed. Here I have a Rubik's 2.0 3x3. It's pretty cool. The logos kind of fade in. Here we have my one-handed main, which is a Mayu Liang. It's pretty good. Here I have another 2.0 Rubik's Cube, but this is the one that's in source today. This is also pretty good. And this is just a standard 1.0 Rubik's Cube. Here we have, this is actually my main. This is the Gans 356 Air S2. It's really good. And the final cube I'm going to show you is this Along version 2. And this is pretty greasy because of the lube. But it's still a pretty good cube. So, yeah, that was pretty much my cube collection. Besides my missing one pictures of me and my DMI, which is downstairs. So, I'll see you next time.